metabolism as a medical student or allied health professional you will have to understand what is metabolism metabolism is a complex biochemical process which can be difficult to understand and can even be more difficult to explain since we are at the beginning of learning phase we do not want to go into too much details but when time comes we will understand every complex process that is associated with metabolism for now we'll try to understand basic concepts while avoiding several others before we try to understand what is metabolism we have to understand what is adenosine triphosphate human body gets its energy in the form of calories these calories come from a biological molecule known as adenosine triphosphate and the formula is in front of you these molecules are also known as body's energy currency molecules the curly symbols this one and this one represent the bond between phosphate molecules which are high energy bonds and as cells need energy first bond this one breaks up to release 7300 calories of energy this results in the formation of adenosine diphosphate second bond can also break up releasing another 7300 calories the remaining molecule is known as adenosine monophosphate but obviously before adenosine triphosphate can be broken down to adenosine diphosphate and adenosine monophosphate you have to have adenosine triphosphate in the first place the process of development of adenosine triphosphate by three main food components which are carbohydrates fats and proteins release of energy by adenosine triphosphate consumption of this release energy by cells to perform cellular functions and also to repair and build the structures of body is known as metabolism body needs continuous supply of adenosine triphosphate metabolism has been divided into two main categories catabolism and anabolism catabolism is the process of conversion of food components like carbohydrates fats and proteins into adenosine triphosphate while the anabolism is the process when energy is used to build and repair the structures of the body anabolism is also the process when excess uh, food is stored as fat and glycogen in the body let's have a look at catabolism the first step is food intake intake secondly the food is broken down food is absorbed and is broken down into carbohydrates fats and proteins carbohydrates uh, means sugar or glucose fat uh, everybody knows uh, what is fat but we will have a look at chemical composition of fat later in this small video book as i call it and proteins are amino acids means nitrogen and carbon compounds attached to acid groups these food components three food components are taken to individual cells by blood where they all are converted into a common molecule known as acetyl coenzyme it is at this stage that if cells have excess food they start the process of anabolism and create fat and glycogen both uh, can be restored to be reused whenever necessary but in other case the acetyl coenzyme is converted into adenosine triphosphate the processes involved in metabolism can be aerobic means the oxygen is used to produce adenosine triphosphate and they can be uh, the other process can be anaerobic means oxygen is not used to produce adenosine triphosphate <coughs> here are some some examples one molecule of carbohydrate uses six molecules of oxygen to produce 36 adenosine triphosphate molecules one molecule of fat uses 23 molecules of oxygen to produce 130 adenosine triphosphates notice 
carbon dioxide and water are byproducts notice one fat molecule produces more adenosine triphosphate as compared to carbohydrate uh, one molecule of which uh, produces 36 adenosine triphosphates notice fat also produce more carbon dioxide and if the body is using fat to produce body's energy currency molecules adenosine triphosphate then uh, a person has to body has to increase the respiration rate of respiration to get rid of extra carbon dioxide that is being produced in aerobic metabolism carbohydrate is broken down into pyruvic acid which is converted into two adenosine triphosphate molecules plus lactate this lactate is uh, eventually converted into lactic acid which is thought to be the cause of cramps and muscular pain in aerobic metabolism occurs in case of slow and constant exercise such as marathon you're not likely to burn fat during solo exercise as only glucose is used fat cannot be converted anaerobically to produce uh, adenosine triphosphate fat fat cannot be used anaerobically only glucose or carbohydrate is used the video is prepared for academyofprofessionals.com and these are the references to very good books and thank you very much